Advanced Residential Applications and Case Studies. Chapter 2, Advanced Residential Appraisal Concepts, page 22. Case study number 3. Your subject property is a 6,000 square foot, one story, concrete block building with a brick facade on the front. It is 25 years old and is on leased land at the edge of the strip mall within the city limits. The strip mall consists of six stores of 1,000 square feet each. Two of the six stores are vacant, but the other four seem to be functioning well. The subject had originally been a discount department store and then a home improvement shelter center. It has been vacant for 18 months now, despite marketing efforts by the owner and two brokers. List some critical steps in your scope of work. I'm going to go like highest and uh, best use. Highest and best use as improved. And vacant. Obviously zoning. Uh, rental rates in that area. Data sources, MLS, the owner, the renters, uh, publications, what else? Um, I don't know, we'll just go with that for now. Let's see what they say. Case study three solutions, scope of work. Here again are some suggested steps you might want to employ in the scope of work for this case study. Again, it is by no means an all-inclusive list. Your ideas may be different, but every bit as good. Number one, investigate the zoning. Yep, I already said that. Number two, find out the size, shape, and frontage of the land. Okay. Number three, inventory the site improvements. Good. Number four, investigate the terms of the ground lease. Number five, find comparable land rents. Good. Number six, Find comparable land capitalization rates. Number seven, get copies of the leases on the four stores. Yup. Number eight, find out what the rents had been for the two vacant stores. That's a good one right there. Number nine, investigate the listing history. Interesting on that one. Number 10, study the retail rental market in the area. Number 11, investigate the competition. Number 12, investigate vacancy ratios in the area. Number 13, identify the highest and best use of the property as improved. Yep. Number 14, identify the highest and best use of the land as though vacant. 
Number 15. Consider the possibility that perhaps the highest and best use would be to combine the stores into larger units. For example, three 2,000 square foot units. Interesting. Number 16. Consider the possibility that the most typical purchaser would be interested in having single occupancy, which means combining all the stores into one space as it was originally. Number 17. Consider the possibility of remodeling and updating the building. The center is 25 years old now. Perhaps the building should be remodeled substantially and made more energy efficient to attract more buyers. Number 18. Investigate the possibility of adding on to the building. Would zoning allow more intensive development? Number 19. Investigate the traffic patterns in the area. Okay, that's a new one. Number 20. Investigate the directions of growth for retail properties. Case study 3 solutions data sources. This list is by no means all inclusive and you might have ideas that are different and even better. Obviously, the particular data sources will vary according to each area of the country. Just list the ones that you find to be common in your area. Number one, the owner. Number two, the survey. Number three, land lease. Number four, store leases. Number five, listing agreements. Number six, zoning ordinance. Number seven, interview with listing agents. Number eight, interview with other real estate agents, particularly commercial brokers. Number nine, interview with investors. Number 10, interview with other appraisers. Okay. Number 11, comparable commercial property sales. Number 12, Comparable retail rents. Number 13. Comparable land leases. And lastly, number 14. The assessor's office.